Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick video. Uh, I got a bunch of questions that were asked, so I just figured I'd do a video video of uh, all the different things that <laughs> some of you guys had asked. Uh, one of the first ones was uh, Cecil. Um, he had asked about uh, how I had my um, garage gang decals and stuff done up. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. Cody, can you reach out? Um, basically, I had... Uh, just put them on panels so that I can uh, put them up around my shop where I have all this wall space. Um, so basically, I just have a bunch of panels. Uh, they're just thin aluminum. Put a border around them. And uh, as I got them, I was just putting, uh, putting some of these uh, decals on here and here's another one I got going on and uh, I actually got more here that are being uh, shipped out now uh, to a couple others and I got more going on um, we actually been uh, designing some different ones. Uh, in fact, just sent poor boy uh, his layout. Um, other than that, uh, the new machine we got um, got a 42 inch printer uh, and then a matching laminator here. Um, so this will print full color, uh, basically photo quality uh, prints on it. Uh, can do, you know, anything from banners to vinyl to posters, whatever. So it's kind of neat. Got to build some countertops and stuff, and kind of shop's total mess because we're remodeling everything. So, um, anyways, so that answers these questions, uh, and then I'll. Uh, do a quick little video when I get back home uh, showing you uh, someone had asked me about uh, primer uh, the primer I used on the truck and also what gun I was using and everything I think it was 256 Chevy so anyways uh, as soon as I get home I'll show you that stuff uh, hopefully that'll answer those questions um, anyways I'll talk to you guys in just a bit hey guys <clears throat> just thought I'd uh, answer answer a couple of questions um, 250, uh, 256 Chevy had uh, asked me about uh, what color I was painting the truck what type of primer I was using what gun I was using and such as that uh, so I thought I'd just do a quick video and show you some of the stuff that I was using um, anyways here's uh, basically the gun it was a uh, Northern Tools special. I mean, I think I paid 50, 60 bucks for this thing. Um, it's got a 1.7 tip. Um, and then I just put a water filter on it. Um, it actually worked real well for spraying. I uh, was kind of surprised for the money, it worked real nice. Uh, when I go to paint the base coat clear coat, I bought this brand new. Um, GTI Millennium. Um, this hasn't been opened yet, but I'm going to use this for the base coat clear coat when I'm ready. Um, so that answers the gun question. Uh, the primer, uh, basically what I'm using is Custom Shop uh, High Build Primer. Um, this here uh, came from TCP Global. Uh, it was an online website. Um, this is their house brand, I guess. They sell like a uh, house of colors and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, this is what I used for the high build primer for the epoxy primer that I'd put on earlier. I believe that was a uh, shop line uh, by PPG. Um, I also got this. Uh, this is also made for uh, TCP Global. This is their pre-packaged uh, paints. They 
have any setup you want, whether you want base coat, clear coat, acrylic enamel, whatever. Um, I just got some acrylic enamel. I'm going to use this on my uh, radiator support and uh, inner fender walls, under the bed, stuff like that. Um, just something simple for that, just to cover it. Uh, for my regular finish, I'm using Shopline uh, PPG. This is uh, a gallon of white and a gallon of blue. And then my uh, reducers and stuff. Um, that's going to be what my finish is going to be. And then I got <clears throat> Omni uh, Clear um, to go over top of it. So that's what I'm using for that. Uh, as far as the color, what it looks like, this is Wimbledon white, and I don't know what the blue's called, but that was the original factory specs for the colors. Um, I just dabbed some on this panel. This panel was what color the truck used to be. Um, it wasn't factory somebody restored the truck 20 years ago and they didn't like this color blue so they added a little more and made it brighter I'm going back to the original colors on it um, so that pretty much answers that um, for the inside of the uh, floor and wherever else I decided to put it um, this is my uh, the bed liner stuff that I use on a lot of things. Um, something I bought off of eBay. Um, when you buy this kit for 150 bucks, you get three sprayable gallons. It's probably one of the best deals on the uh, eBay for bed liner. Uh, it comes in black, white, whatever. This particular one here is white, um, only because I use it for sign frames also. Um, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to cover it up with carpet and stuff anyway, so I didn't really care what color it was. Um, but this stuff here, you have your part A, part B, and then you get this uh, rubber powder to mix in with it. Um, you don't have to put this in it, but if you want, you add those three parts together um, to create you know, your uh, bed liner spray. Uh, comes out real nice. Uh, the way I spray it, they also for 150 bucks they give you uh, one of those undercoating guns. I don't know where the hell it's in or somewhere, but they give you an undercoating gun to spray it. I found it works better if you use one of these texture guns. Um, I'll show you mine in the toolbox here. Basically, I use one of these uh, textured hopper guns. This is the, the gun. Um, it comes with three different size tips. Um, just put the smallest tip in it. And then you can put that... Um, this hopper fits on top. And you can pour enough to spray whatever you got to spray. Um, by doing that... Um, it's got a, a more controlled tip on it because the uh, original tip on the um, undercoating gun it just kinda just spits the stuff out everywhere at least using this gun you can put a finer tip in it and get a, a nicer texture to it um, I think that's about it um, I got some other gun. I guess just knocked over gas cans um, I got a few other guns that are set up with the uh, PPS system and all that. Um, those guns are getting kind of tired. they are got air leaks in them and such, so I kind of retired those ones. Um, but uh, these were these were like those ones you can buy. They're like a vapor set or something. You get like three guns you know for a hundred and thirty bucks or something those are really good guns I used those things for years and lasted me a long time before uh, they started you know spraying funny I think it just needs to be rebuilt don't know if it's worth uh, rebuilding the things but that's why I just went ahead and picked up that other one there but uh, 
other than that um, hope that uh, answered some questions um, other than that just last couple of days hadn't really feel like <laughs> wet sanding or anymore so um, hopefully in the next uh, day or so I'll get over there and finish uh, doing some more wet sanding um, I do have um, I also need to go ahead and start stapling the plastic up on my uh, spray booth and uh, building my filter holders and stuff so um, anyways I need to get that stuff going uh, so we can hopefully get some paint on it this weekend or the beginning of next week so anyways uh, we'll talk to you guys later thanks <laughs>